Are you tired of the same old routine in World of Warcraft's Wrath of the Lich King expansion? Are you looking for a new challenge, perhaps a fresh start? Then look no further than Classic Era in 2023. While both worlds have their own unique charm, there are multiple reasons why I quit Wrath. In this video we'll explore why you should consider leaving Wrath of the Lich King behind and diving into the classic era of World of Warcraft. A sense of community. Having hosted a lot of 40 and 25 man WoW classic raids, I really spotted the difference rating wise. In the 40 man raids, everyone helps each other whether that's leveling warlocks to summon, making a clicker or getting all those world buffs so they do the best damage. Every little bit helps and you feel like you achieve something when you clear that raid a bit faster every week. There's a sense of progression in worker vlogs or getting that biz piece players have been teasing you about for months on end that just does not drop, for example like Mageblade. The moment you get it, they are legit happy for you. People get rewarded items that give everyone buffs like the head of Anexia or the heart of a car from CG. I I missed this in Wrath, seeing as my first run in Wrath of Lich King we were all surprised of how many drops there were, like 4 per boss. I did not have my loot spreadsheet yet and I remember the first raid wasting so much time having to note everything down. The next week my friend Green made me a spreadsheet for both 10 and 25 men and I delegated to a friend of mine Jim loot sheet access so he could write down the items with a drop down menu. My mate Tim to master loot and bit stuff out while raid leaded and kept the show going. This greatly increases speed in the run but it just felt like something was missing. I kept raid leading in Wrath of the Lich King till all the were released and it felt loads had already quit up until that point and got bored of Nax. In classic I still do not get bored from Molten Core and therefore it is one of my favorite raids in classic era. That moment we got double bindings in my GDKP raid or that first Sulfurus in Som. those memories stick with you. I started Classic Era up again and I instantly was greeted with Hey, are you Johannes from Som, YouTube or Razigor? Then I remember their name and right away I have happy memories of them in my runs and we have a chat about it. Oh, remember that time we got 3 talisman drops in MC? Bam! It is like we never were apart and we're connecting on WoW Classic together again. After this happened a few times, I got the sense of the classic WoW community in me again and started up hosting on the Classic Era. I made a sign up for Sunday at 12, Blackwing Lair plus Molten Core and was blown away with the support. People that like to play Classic Fresh always come back. If you're one of those people and need to re-level, I recommend downloading the Reset XP add-on. The link is in the description. It got me to 60 as fast as possible and made the experience way more fun. Now let's talk about that moment everybody starts playing again like fresh this is going on now on the wow classic era servers the world is crazy active and friends of my raiding community are coming back by the day leveling zones are crazy busy and it is honestly like a fresh server for them people are handing out free bags and welcoming everyone Many have to re-level or have to level to 60 and are leveling alts to keep up raiding with me in the future. They just know how determined I am to host as many raids as possible and do not want to miss out. It is also quite fun to start a fresh team again and get it to a full next clear. Who knows, that new player that just got to level 10, killing a random boar, will be in one of my runs in a month or so getting a brutality blade. You do not have people to play with? Then join my community and have fun in Azeroth. The link is in the description. Now let's talk about 10 man raids in Wrath of the Lich King. They are just not fun. Fun. They feel like a chore and the items can be very random, like Kara in TBC. I understand they are great for catching up gear wise, but it just feels like a dungeon that's hard to set up. You would rather just play 25 man raids. There's always people looking for the best group to join to maximize getting their last item so they do not have to do it anymore. Oh, there's one other rogue, Johannes? Do they need this? Oh, never mind then. Or the item he wanted did not drop and magically his internet got disconnected. Reputation does not matter on Wrath, as you can just swap factions or server swap. In ERA you can't, reputation matters and I get DMs as a host about people that do this kind of stuff. That's not how raiding feels like in classic ERA. It is hard to be fully bissed out, so any 40 man raid you're still able to get something. I have a friend called Pepsi, he is still after his Baron Binding and I hope to get him that in classic ERA. It will put a smile on my face. Even if you do not need anything, it actually feels rewarding using the gear you got as it took so long getting every single piece in Classic Era. Even the 20 mans have insane items that you need to keep farming like CG Idol for Head and Leg Enchant. All the new players need those AQ20 books and they are great starter rates for new people. The item effect. That moment that epic Edge Master drops and everybody presses need in a Classic Dungeon. I had that while leveling my Mage in Som. It caused me nerves. <laughs> And when I won it, I felt so lucky and happy. The dopamine was real. Getting your last splinter for your Atiash or that second half of a binding for your Thunder Fury. Maybe you just got to 60 and are getting dungeon gear. The terrible green item just got upgraded to a blue. That just hits the spot. It feels good. 
than when you get your first epic from a raid with a crazy upgrade. This is why many people level alts. They want that dopamine again and it really hits that high. Do not get me wrong, Wrath of the Lich King is a great expansion and I played it in my childhood raid leading Ice Crown in Raid Warning. I will come back to relive that memory and finally kill the Lich King when it gets released somewhere in 2023. It is nostalgia that gets us coming back and there we get to the final reason I quit Wrath of the Lich King. Leveling in Real Classic to 40 teach me English to find stuff out for myself. The world was so big and I feel a sense of home to it till this day. This has me coming back all the time after a little while has passed. You may have it as well, that first moment you went on your level 40 mount, got to level 10 and discovered talents. Leveling in the starting zones in Classic Era feels weirdly satisfying. Overall, I believe that World of Warcraft Classic Era is the better option for players who want a more immersive and rewarding MMO experience. So if you're ready to step back in time and experience the game that started it all, join us as we say goodbye to Wrath of the Lich King and embrace the Classic Era of World of Warcraft. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video.